Hey everyone, so I'm going to be live February 15th through 17th at Anime Milwaukee in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So if you are there, make sure to stop by and say hi to me if you see me. But if you're not going to be there, that's okay because the Unlocked app is offering all access to Anime Milwaukee for the entire weekend. You have access to the panels. You will be able to watch all the big events going on that weekend, including a very special Dragon Ball related panel. Saturday at noon central on February 16th, hosted by me and featuring none other than Christopher Sabat himself, the voice of Piccolo, Vegeta, and so many other characters in all of anime. I will be moderating it and we will be asking him your questions live on the stream. You do not want to miss this historic event. Join us live Anime Milwaukee Weekend. Click the link down below in the description and join me, Chris Sabat, and everyone else in what should be a blast of a time. Should Dragon Ball Super Broly become an arc when Dragon Ball Super returns to television? Now, this question is not an easy one to answer because there's going to be pros and cons to this. And we're going to be discussing that here on this video. Of course, there may, well, probably will be spoilers for the movie. I'm sure most of you have seen the film by now. If you have not, you've been warned. Let's get down to the topic at hand. Joining me to discuss this, he was here just a little while ago, a few weeks ago, to discuss Broly's possible redemption. And we kind of called that one pretty well, mm -hmm. in a way. Uh, hopefully that what we talked about in that video might actually come true but today we're going to talk about the pros and cons and what they can do to make it special if broly does become an arc in dragon ball super please welcome back jack's blade oh thanks for having me danny appreciate it man hey anytime anytime now i will say this um right now Dragon Ball Super Broly is the first movie with the Dragon Ball Super name. It's actually Dragon Ball Super Broly. So mm -hmm. this has led me to believe that it's not going to be retold. Plus, in the manga, Toyotaro skipped it. So there is a good chance that the Dragon Ball Super Broly story will not get retold. However, if it does get retold, what are the benefits of it? Well, one thing I will start with by saying is it's pretty safe to say that if they do retell the Broly story in Dragon Ball Super, um, the animation is probably not going to be equal to the film whatsoever. Oh, so that's no. the first thing we got to cut out right there. It ain't going to look as good. Right, exactly. Because that's one of the first things they got to bring up. Be With the movie, there was just so much brought into it, so much impact. Like, one of the things I absolutely adored about the film was that the fights actually felt like oh these guys are galaxy busting fights so it's like oh my yeah. god where they're like punching you feel large like scale go, large scale going down yeah. to the earth's core like making the whole like planet just like the the way they did the aesthetics of it was just absolutely just captivating and beautiful so like that's one thing they're just gonna like that's not gonna be in the series just not how it is unless they decide to go a seasonal route like my hero academia where they do something like that all the time but uh i yeah, that right. would be one of the things um i feel like if they take their time with it and they like learn like okay this is what worked we can do this on a lower scale that would probably be good but so far like just comparing it to what we saw in the movie i don't think that would be good to like try and retell it that way and then also just stretching out the fight that long for like certain yes. episodes because like remember yes. with the resurrection f and uh, battle of gods arcs they like stretch certain things that like took like five or six episodes to tell when the movie was just like you watch it back to back and that's something i wouldn't look forward to seeing in my opinion no and the thing is uh those two retelling arcs there's a couple of good things about them but for the most part i think most dragon ball fans agree that it was unnecessary because mm -hmm. they really didn't add too much especially resurrection f that was a flop mm -hmm. now with broly though as you stated, the fights are going to have to be structured more like TV fights where we have like little cliffhangers in the episodes. It's not going to flow like mm -hmm. the movie did because the movie just went from A to B to C to D relatively well. Yeah. Also, the flashback stuff. I feel like if this gets retold, there's only two ways they can go about doing this. Number one, they if they're going to actually retell the entire film – they're going to have to do the backstory in like a four or five episode miniseries. I talk about like, you know, what happened on Planet Vegeta, or maybe just three episodes, who knows. But I also feel like what they're probably going to do is, if they do retell it, 
is they're probably gonna instead of having the flashback at the beginning of the story, inter like like intercut the flashback during the episode. So when you show Broly and Paragus getting found by Sheila and Lemo, mm-hmm. you could then cut back to how they wound up on that planet. If they structure it like that, I think it could work. Yeah, I think that would be a uh, interesting way. Like one of the things that I think having a series like this, where you, if you actually do go this route and stretching it out, would be it would be fascinating to see and learn a bit more about like how Broly and Paragus were on that planet. Since like in this movie, we never right. saw how uh, Paragus lost his eye. Like one of the things, while the old Broly movie is you know like mixed bag for certain people, they showed that all right, this is what happened with him as a child. This is why I had to control him. This is what we did here. And this movie was just talked about, but they never really went in depth with it. Like, one of the things I would have really Same loved... Same thing with Broly going great ape. Exactly. They just, like, glossed over it. Like, one of the things I would have loved is, like, uh, the the scene where they talk about Ba in the movie. I would like, after that scene, they go to Paragus, and then people, like, thinking, oh, he's, like, a scumbag for what he did. But he's like, they don't understand the crap I had to put up with on the thing. And then him flashing back to what he had to do with Broly as a kid, and how he lost his eye, how all the great ape stuff happened, like, what he did on that planet to survive and now he just like got fed up and just lost his mind that was something i would really like to see them explore if they go this route in the series but again i'm not sure if they would do that and i don't want them to uh take a full i mean if they did take a full episode to do just that once i wouldn't mind it but if it was just like uh over the course of like three episodes that would be tiresome to me in my opinion it's just there's so much backstory material and not just what you mentioned you know a lot of fans have been pointing out that there are certain things, and I've talked about this at length in my reviews about this movie. Mm-hmm. The part with the flashback is very poorly structured narratively. There's too much stuff jumping around. There's too many different characters. There's not a linear focus, mm-hmm. and it feels disjointed. It feels like stuff was cut. Now, I'm not saying there's a director's cut of the film. There may or may not be. I highly doubt that there is, mm-hmm. but we know for a fact that Toriyama submitted a three-hour script for this film. And and to me, if you were to ask me, Geekdom or Danny, whatever, should they retell this film, the answer I'm going to give you is no, Mm -hmm. uh, other than the the, the Toriyama three-hour script. If we we never knew that Toriyama had a three-hour script, I would be totally against them retelling the story. But the fact that we know this exists means that there's got to be material that was cut out from the movie. Case in point, when Bardock is firing yes. that blast at Frieza, his armor's, armor's damaged. All messed up. Yeah, and there's guys behind him, which means that some kind of rebellion or some kind of battle happened before Frieza showed up to blow up the uh, the, the planet. Mm-hmm. There's, there's things like that. And also, where was Vegeta during Goku and Broly's fight? Also, how did she laugh out about the Dragon Balls? There's little scenes that I think were missing from the movie that aren't crucially important, mm-hmm. but I think probably would be in the script or would be told if this were to become an arc. It's just going to be tricky because, like we talked about, are they going to call it the Bardock arc and then go to the present time, mm-hmm. or are they going to intersperse flashbacks throughout the, the main story? See, I... I don't know. I don't know what what the benefit to it is, you know? Yeah, I feel you completely because, like, I don't know if this is going to go something like a a Digimon the movie or Pokemon movie thing where you have to see the movie and then they just go into, you know, when Super starts back up, it's, uh, there you go, you've had your homework, you saw the movie. That's what I think is going to happen, dude. Mm -hmm. I really think that, yeah. Yeah, I hope they do that, but if they don't do that, uh, the the only certain things, like, I agree with you completely, that whole scene with Bardock, like, he's firing that blast and he's just already beaten up, it's like, like, all right, well, did we miss something here? Was there, like, a deleted scene or something like that? Maybe the B- Battle of Gods something uh, where Battle of Gods had an extended edition, hopefully in the future or something like that. Right. But it's just, like, we don't know. And that would be cool to see extended upon. But, again, I don't feel like it's necessary. Like we've been saying in this, it's a thing where it was done pretty damn well on the theatrical release. And just seeing it redone in a less... Um, not as greatly animated way or just a story structure way, that would just be something I wouldn't care for in the sense because they're just, like you mentioned, so many things that happen where you just go, oh, well, what about this? Like one thing um, uh, I remember in the movie that I would, uh, only thing I would like to see like maybe further expand upon the scene is when Broly turns legendary because in the movie when he goes uh, legendary, I thought when, he, you know, spoiler alert, Paragus dies 
uh, he transforms, and then you see like the green, like him coming out the ground. And he's like, that's all just epic. super like, super saiyan. Yeah, it's just super yeah, saiyan. Yeah. But then like when he goes legendary, it's like uh, this very brief thing when going. It's quick. Fighting it's so quick, and I'm just like, why yeah. is that the quick? scene that should have been the one where he's coming out of the ground so maybe the anime could expand on that but again it wouldn't look as good but uh yeah that's my no business, so. no and not just that i was thinking about this too like one of the things that surprised me a lot of it has to do really with the flashback stuff mm -hmm. is um when frieza was gonna blow up planet vegeta no beerus and we found out right. you know with with the uh, Battle of Gods TV adaptation, and also in the film, it's somewhat implied that Beerus he didn't order Frieza. We got to get that kill that misconception. He did not order right. Frieza. He suggested to Frieza that he kill off the entire race, and Frieza did it because of his fear of you know them rebelling against him and all that. Mm -hmm. It all makes sense. Uh, we didn't see that in the movie at all. No Beerus in the flashback at all. Um, mm -hmm. You know that was interesting. Uh, the the overall like the the fight with Broly, I think is. I think it's fine. There's not really too many modifications. I know some people want to see like how Vegeta learned God. I already did a video on that. Right. And I think some folks want to see Broly. Like, I think, how would you feel if they actually explained how Broly was able to tap into that, like, suppressed grade 8 form that people are saying is a Super Saiyan 4 homage, which it might be. Um, how do you feel about that you know, uh, being explained more. I think I would like to see that. I mean, oh, yeah, I would definitely like to see that because, um, again, when he first, like, went in the ocean, I thought, like, oh, he's about to go, you know, Super Saiyan or, like, uh, reference to when his hair turned blue in the original film or something like that. But, no, it was, uh, I would definitely love to see that certain thing of him, like, oh, this is how he mastered it, this is why he was able to do it, and then maybe have a flashback of where he learned how to do that because, like, again, we just saw him, like, uh, as a great ape, like, looking at the movie briefly and then it goes away the only thing um only thing i might be a bit like worried about if for if they do this is they may bring in uh other z fighters because like, again with the resurrection you're effort, right yeah you're they may right. like they oh, might bring go in tanks. gohan and all these guys to fight broly i don't want to see that yeah dude. i don't want to see that shit like, i don't want to see go tanks like flying over there headbutt broly and then oh shit he's too strong fly away or some shit i, I i'm not interested in it's like, it's that. gonna end up ruining the tone like mm -hmm. I, yes dragon ball supposed to be funny but not when it comes to this movie. This movie was toned at a totally different way. Yes, there right. was comedy in the movie. Yes, it's wacky. Freeze is very funny. Bulma's very funny. She lies funny. Mm -hmm. um, you know, no, the Broly fight is, is should be taken seriously, and I agree with you that I don't want to see that. Uh, I would be okay if they had a scene where the other Z fighters sensed Broly, and then Goku tells them not to get involved, which is really... It was a bit of a, I don't know if it's a plot hole, but it was something that was missing from the film. You right. know, where were these guys at? Not even a single scene of a single scene of them saying, yo, what's going on in the Arctic? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, we're fighting this guy. You're not strong enough. Don't get involved. We'll handle it. If we need you, we'll call you. You know, that I think would be at least make make it make more sense, bro, because where where was everybody at? And I, I would also give a good it would also be good to give cameos for some of these other characters like Mr. Satan, like Boo. You know, mm -hmm. I would like to see that. You could even, I mean, if you really want to get wacky, when the Gogeta Broly fight happens and they crack the universe, you could even have, like, one of the other universes, like, feel that and be like, yo, what the hell just happened? Like, there's a lot of things they can do. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just, you're the thing about this movie is it's such a visual spectacle, mm -hmm. right, that turning it into a TV with lesser animation, I don't want to see that. I'm actually more interested in seeing what happens next. What's up with mm -hmm. Frieza, you know, wanting to use Broly again? What's up with Broly and Sheila? Are they going to hook up? Are they going to have a kid? Uh, yeah. I hope so. You know, that yeah, I'm here. more interested in than, than them retelling the, uh, the movie. I, I don't know. But I honestly, mm -hmm. dude, I would like to see sort of a – like, at some point in the future, like, I don't know about another Bardock special, but I want to see more stuff from that time period. I don't know if we're ever going to see it again, but I, I'm very interested in the pre-Broly stuff. Like, mm -hmm. how the Empire was with King Cold in charge and, like, you know, things like that. I'm interested in that, but that's just more because I'm a lore master. I like lore a lot. Maybe exactly. I'm the only one. No, no, I agree with you, man. That would be freaking badass to see, like, how uh, King Cold, like, talked to them. Because even though he was like, oh, you know, hey, monkeys, let's, this this is my son. This is what we're going to do now. It, it just felt like I, I would have loved to, like, see how he met them, how he, like, got them to work for him, and how, like, everything worked. Because, like, it seemed like when he was in control, they were like, oh, at least, like, he talks to us like we're, like, you know, somewhat 
uh, just he was workers. less of a prick than Frieza. Is what yeah, Frieza saying, was just right? like, "You're my slaves. Like, you're my slaves. You're gonna work for me." When he was just like, "Oh, you're my workers. I don't give a shit." But yeah, whatever. So that would be really interesting. And then also this thing I was very curious about, like in the movie, like um, when Broly first transformed, like neither Goku or Vegeta like referenced, like, "Oh, this sort of reminds me of you know Kale, Kale. or something like Nothing. that." Nothing. Yeah, yeah, people people were complaining about that. Yeah, it was just like, oh, like, it's, he's turned into a Super Saiyan. Like, they didn't mention it once. Like, that would be something I would like. But again, not it doesn't uh, register a whole arc for it. It doesn't go like, oh, I right. need a whole arc right. for this, in my opinion. Well, I, I mean, the explanation of that's because Toriyama wrote the film in February of 2017. And remember, and I'm telling that to the audience, not so much to you, uh, even right. though you probably remember. Um, Toriyama remember. Did, did not come up with the character of Kale. So... When you see, when you watch this film and you notice that there's no SSB evolution, you notice mm -hmm. that um, there's no uh, Kale, it's because Toriyama mm -hmm. didn't really come up with it. So, you know, when he was writing the script, it was, it was most likely before Kale was even animated. So... Right. Or at least in the early stage, in the early stages. So he may not even know who Kale was when he wrote the original script for this movie. So mm -hmm. that, to me, answers that question. But I do agree with you in that... In that it's up to Nagamine or whoever's in charge to maybe make that line, put that line there about Kale. But mm -hmm. if they do retell it, I think it should be in there without question. Is there anything else that you think if they retell this needs to be in there? Um, the only thing I would really like to see more of is just like uh, maybe uh, Broly on the planet, uh, Broly bonding with Chile, just like not just, you know, fun stuff, but just like, oh, this is why they're connecting. Uh, the fight scene, just um, a bit more explanation of like why Broly has like these mental snaps. I, I definitely want to see how Paragus lost his eye. Like I just, I want to right. know, is it like similar to the old movie or is it just completely different? Was and it one I, of the animals on the planet maybe? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe it was Bach. Who knows? It was yeah. Those things. It was revenge. I'll take your ear. Took my eye. I'll take your ear. Exactly. Moby Dick. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> to be honest. Right. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say on it. Like, they're just little things like that that I would like to see. But again, uh, those little things don't register an arc. Like, those could just be like you know deleted scenes and extended feature. If they were like, oh, we want to just animate these for a, a special edition Blu-ray release or something. But yeah. That's why I guess. Right. I agree with that. I, I will say this. If I'm a betting man, like if you were to say, hey, what do you think is going to happen? I do not think they're going to retell the Broly arc in Super, uh, mm -hmm. the TV show. I don't think that's happening. And the fact that Toyotaro skipped over it tells me that they're probably going to just say, hey, watch episodes 1 to 131, mm -hmm. then watch the movie, then come back and watch the show. And for all we know, episode 132, hypothetically, might mm -hmm. start with a flashback of the movie and say, hey, you know, dun, 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 you know, the yeah, Goku like the beginning and Vegeta of this battled movie. Broly. Yeah, and they, that could work, right? They mm -hmm. do a little flashback of what happened in the movie. Yeah, exactly. They just make a little five minute thing of like, oh, boom, boom, boom. No, it doesn't have to be five minutes, like two minutes. You know what I mean? Like a recap of the movie, quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, a super thing. Like um, what they did with the in the movie when they were talking about Goku and his life on Earth. So, yeah, that fast. That's easy. Yeah. Right? Perfect. No, they could easily do that. You know, it, it could be one of those, like, you know, when the episode starts to recaps, you know, with mm. the Chala Had Chala slow version. They could do that easily. Yeah. Um, Make it just the intro. Happen. But let us know in the comments if you have any ideas or any scenes that you felt may have been cut from this film. And I want educate. I want. I don't want fan service. I want like or, or fanboy. Uh, uh, you know, fan fiction. Right. I want actual scenes that you thought may have been better to tell like the like what jack said the jack the 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 eye being pulled something that would add to the story let us know in the comments if you have anything that you think should be in the arc version and thank you jacks for being here check him out i'll leave a link down below to his channel thank you so much for having me always appreciate it geekdom thank you and we'll have a well i hope you have a good one and we'll talk to you later <laughs> pieces bye